Welcome back to the channel, Shooters. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. If you have not, make sure you go down in the description below and find out ways I can help you that actually help me. I'm gonna go over a quick video real quick on mile per hour gun. Um, this is gonna be a full production. This is literally just how to find it because I'm traveling and training right now. I wanna make sure to get something out every month or every month, every Sunday to you. And uh, so yeah, pull up at a park and this is what we're gonna do. Big shout out to our sponsor, Global Ordnance. Without them, I couldn't do what I do. Make sure you go down and check in that description for links to ammo. My favorite round for 5.56, hands down, for any kind of uh, long range, close range, whatever, is 69 grain SMK, uh, especially from ADI. Go ahead and check that down there and uh, get yourself a case. Um, before we get into this, to give you a quick explanation on what is mile per hour of a gun, what is, like I have written here, a three mile an hour gun. Uh, there is a mile per hour that can be associated to um, your firearm, and this is for intermediate to long range stuff when you're dealing with ballistic calculator stuff. It is a simple way to remember how much wind is going to affect your gun at what distance and how much. So it's giving you a lot. Um, the, all my teachers when I was back in school would think it's crazy that I do stuff, stuff like this now because I am not good at math. However, this kind of stuff is uh, kind of simple for me, except when I start to get down to here, as I found out when I was writing this out. Um, now, my gun that this is off of is a 20 inch barreled 5.56 with 69 grain SMK, and it is a three mile an hour gun. <clears throat> Excuse me. What that means is simply every three mile an hour, zero to three, four to six, seven to nine, 10 to 12, 13 to 16, I'm going to have another predictable movement of my round in flight when it comes to wind that I can easily calculate with my reticle. So I can use this to either, if I know my wind, I know my hold. If I know, um, if I shoot, hold straight up on a target and I see the miss, say like 1.2 mils at 300 yards, that's gonna take me, okay, I got a 10 to 12 mile an hour wind. Easy, so you can do known and unknown wind drills. Uh, but how do you figure this out for your gun? Some guns like, uh, well, my gun for this is a three mile an hour, unless uh, elevation. I was at 3,200 feet a couple, like last week. Uh, shooting and this actually shifted to a four mile an hour gun. 308s are around fives, six fives, seven psalms, all that. You're going to see different mile per hour for them and you're going to get an idea of what they're for. Um, obviously the higher mile per hour of your gun means it's getting moved less by the, uh, the wind which is awesome. So quickly this video is how to find this. So <clears throat> I'm using Hornady Ford off which obviously you're going to see right here. Um, and as you guys see, I have my wind set to zero and I have a simple 300 yard put in there and my wind is at my six o'clock, 180 degrees. <clears throat> I'm not worried about my elevation. My elevation does not matter for what I'm doing right now. I'm simply trying to find the mile per hour of my gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm either gonna move my wind from right to left or left to right, doesn't matter. I typically go right to left. When you start getting deeper into this, you'll see slight variations in what a left to right and a right to left wind do to your round. But for this, we're not gonna pay attention to it, whatever. Now, I have a right to left wind at 300 yards. What I need is for this bottom number right down here, oops, excuse me, to meet 0.3, so much like I have right there. So I'm gonna go to my wind and I'm gonna roll it. 0.1, doesn't hit it, right? 0.2, still not there. 0.3, still not there, 0.4, boom, there. Okay, so this on my calculator would be a four mile an hour gun. Right, so I could literally just change all the threes, I put zero to four, eight to math, 12, so on and so forth, all right? Uh, and then for that, so now we have a 0.3 at 300 yards. Now I'm gonna double check it, I'm gonna check it a couple times. I'm going to go to 400 yards, and if that hits, 0.4, which it does, 0.44, I'm gonna round down to 0.4. If it's 0.45, I'm gonna round up to 0.5, okay? Simple. 500 yards, let's see where it is. Should line up 0.5, uh, now this is at 0.6, so it's got a little drop. If you can see right here, 0.6 to 0.8 from 600 to 700 yards for one of my guns, is it jumps. So inside there, it's really easy to remember, but you have to remember at what distance is it dropping a little more or dropping, shifting a little more. Because our rounds are losing energy and they are losing velocity at distance, they're going to start moving easier in the wind, okay? Now, for this, I found the threshold is 500, which is 0.6. So if I go to 600, let's see what it goes. Boom, 600, 
7.7, okay? It's in keeping with it. So if it goes to 700, let's see if it jumps again. Yep, jump one more time at 0.9. So now it's even higher. All right, that is simply how you find a mile per hour of your gun. If I were to go to a different gun, let's go my 6.5. I'll zero the wind, that's 700 yards, a right to left wind, and I'm going to roll that wind until 700 yards says 0 0.7, 0 0.6. All right, so that's 6, uh, that would be 0 0.6. This would be actually 0 0.8, so it's sitting right in there, but I'm actually pretty far in my distance. So let's roll back down to 400 for, oh, that's 500 right here. Boom, 500, seven mile an hour gun for my 6.5. It's really easy to do. And once you understand that, just zero everything out real quick, get a median distance for uh, a predictable range, throw that uh, wind to the left or right, then roll the wind left or right for the speed, and you can really easily figure out your mile per hour of your gun. Once you do that, excuse me, I should have kept this open. Once you do that, you can simply click your range card, set it however you want, and you come over here and you can look at what your wind is doing. So 100 right here, 0.1, let's roll up to 400, 0.4, 600, 0.6, 700, 0 0.7, or 0.8, now it's jumped, even for that 6.5, okay? That is simply what mile per hour for your gun means. Now, much like the video on speed drop I did, which you can find right here, uh, mile per hour of your gun, match with speed drop, if someone knows that on their gun, and they go to hand it over, like off to someone and say, hey, this is the gun mile per hour and this is the speed drop number. They can go to work effectively with that system and do what needs to be done. Um, this is something that I started having students do in scope carving courses. They will tell each other those two numbers, trade systems and ammo, and then uh, go to work with their gun. And it's ex incredibly effective. And if it's in a situation where that's useful, those are some numbers that will be very helpful. Um, it is far more accurate than anything like a bullet drop compensating reticle, which this last week and a half has been a lot of conversations uh, around some of the stuff I do with that stuff, and it's go mill. Minute is accurate as well, but mill you have a lot more capability with, so yeah. Um, quick video on it. I probably didn't cover everything. It's simply really easy to triangulate. All this is all a shooting is, whether it be positions to shooting to wind to elevation, is triangulation, all right? Also, one thing to take note is if I go up in elevation, I know I already said this, but if I go from like 1,500 feet to 4,500 feet, I'm probably going to have a faster gun now because of the altitude, okay? And any question you have on anything like this, any performance of what your system may do, any uh, effect that the environment may have, you can open up your calculator and play with stuff put it in there and figure, and it'll tell you the answers. You just got to pay attention to what they are. Um, so I suggest you download an app, Hornady Ford Off, Geo Ballistics, Kestrel, whatever, download them and get extremely familiar with them. Uh, my, whether I have my Ford Off on my phone or my Kestrel when I'm driving because I'm on the road for a month and a half, I am simply, if I have a question, I'll go in there and I'll plug in that into my Kestrel or to my Ford Off and it'll answer it for me very effectively. Like if I want to know how many thousands of feet does it take to affect my mile per hour gun? 1,000, I'll look. 2,000, I'll look. 3,000, I'll look. And I'll see the differences in that and find that mile per hour so I can get a good idea. So anyways, that's all I got. Before I leave, make sure you go to weaponstature.com, check out the classes. I will be in Sawmill all this next month. Um, actually, for you guys, it is this month. Uh, handgun, concealed urban carry courses to long range courses, LPVO courses. I'll be there for the full month. Make sure you go down and check those out where in a lot of those uh, long distance shooting classes, we will be covering this and some other things in some extremes. So you can see what you can do and your system can do, not just by the numbers, but by practicality. All right. You got any questions, comments, put them down below. Make sure you get out and bang. If you are still here, tip for this week, call your friends, okay? Uh, 
I'm fortunate to be able to stop off in uh, where I am in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans, it's gonna piss some people off. <laughs> and uh, see a buddy I was in the Marine Corps with. Um, but make sure you call your friends. Um, two of my brothers that I've been, I'm closest with, we talk to each other every single day and I wouldn't have been able to make it through the last two years without them. Uh, so if whether you are needing to talk or you have an inkling or a suspicion of someone else needing to talk, take five minutes, give them a call. I know sometimes life can pack it on and every five minutes feels like uh, time wasted if you're not doing something productive, but I promise you that can be productive. And coming from a, a position of where it meant everything to me once people would call, do it. And that's all I got. And again, get out and bang.